before we get started on this video, I want to say this. I made this channel, and I wanted to do a lot of my videos outside where you could get a little view of the countryside while I'm talking and hopefully uplifting you in Christ. I do want to add that where I live, I live pretty much off to ourselves a little bit, me and my family, my wife and daughter, but we also have dogs. We have Great Pyrenees, and if anyone's ever had a Great Pyrenees, let me tell you, they bark a lot. So sometimes I'll get to doing a video and one or both will begin barking at something. This video here, I got almost done, and Groot, my big boy, he decided he wanted to start barking big time. So anyway, I did almost get all the way through the video, but I just wanted to explain that and say sometimes I hope you overlook the barking if they start barking toward the end of the video. So uh, usually if they do it at the beginning, I'll stop and start over. But anyway, this was toward the end, so thank you again for being patient, and I hope you enjoy this video on The Mind is the Battleground for the Soul. Thank you. I want to address this video to a question or actually a comment that was made in our comment section on the last video. We talked in the last video about how Satan will try to bother you and make you think that you have committed the unpardonable sin. And of course, if you haven't watched that video, please go back and watch that one as well. But what I want to address in this video is the battle that takes place between Satan and you and me. As the old saying goes, an idle mind is the devil's workshop, which I don't even think sometimes the mind has to be idle. I've always used this saying, the mind is the devil's playground. And also, I've also said, the mind is the battleground for the soul. Why? Because it seems like the majority of our fights, the majority of our battles are fought in our mind. And that's what I want to address, and I want to give you a thought that hopefully will encourage you in that, as this channel is based upon 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse number 11, where the scripture says to build each other up and encourage. That's what we want to do. So I'm hoping this video will encourage you and let you know the devices that the enemy can use against you and how you can counter that. Now... This is something that's been that's bothered people all down through the years. And I know it's a tactic that he uses on a lot of times young Christians because people get saved and they think, oh, everything is wonderful now. And then all of a sudden, Satan begins to attack the mind. Why? Because a lot of times he knows you're going to be strong in other areas. So he tries to fight you mentally. If you look in Luke chapter number four, the Bible talks about Satan tempting the Lord and it gives three temptations, and you've probably read it before, so I'm not going to go over each one. But in verse number 13, the scripture says, When Satan had finished his temptation, he departed the Lord for a season. So, Satan had a, he had an object, he had a goal, and he tried that till he seen, hey, this isn't going to work right now. And then he left him. So, the Bible says Christ is our example. So, here's the example we can take. If he tempts him, if he tempted the Lord himself with his mind, then he's going to tempt you. It was a, like a fight. So you could say, if he fought the Lord mentally, then he's going to fight you mentally. But here is the way that I want you to respond to that. I want you to respond to yourself, and you can also respond to Satan. You can think of it like this. This thought came to me many years ago. And it was when I was really going through one of these battles with him. Yeah, we battle him every day, but this was in my young journey in Christ when I just started out. This thought is what came to me, and I want to share it with you. This is the thought for this video, okay? To each and every one of you that might be tormented with that, to each and every one of you who thinks you're young, you think are young in Christ, no matter how old you are, you could be young in Christ. And you think, why is the devil bothering me? Why is he, why won't he leave me alone? Here's what I want you to think of, and I hope this encourages you. The reason the devil is bothering you is because he hasn't got you. The reason he is tempting you is because he hasn't got you. He's trying to get his grips on you. That's where all you've got to do is resist. Say, devil, 
you're only doing this to me because you have not got me. If he never bothered you, if he never tried to, to drag you down in any way, that's when you need to worry. But as long as the devil's out there, as long as he's trying to bother you, as long as he's trying to come between you and Christ or zap your joy, no, he's not got you. The reason why, and I'll say it one more time, the only reason why the devil is bothering you is because he has not got you. If that don't make you feel better, then maybe you need to listen to this video again, because it should. It shows you that you're doing something right. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep resisting him. And eventually, the Bible said, he will depart for a season. Now, he might come back and he'll try it again. I'm sure he will. He always does. But just resist him then too. So just remember, the mind is where the majority of our battles are fought with Satan. Him trying to put thoughts in our head, whether it be thoughts of uh, bad thoughts in one way or thoughts of bitterness or thoughts of, of hatred or thoughts of jealousy or thoughts of envy. He tries to put thoughts in our head, but we do not have to let them dwell there. And remember this, whenever you think it like that, just remember the reason why the devil is after you is because he has not got you. I hope that encourages you today, and I hope it will build you up just a little bit, because that's what we're here for. Like and subscribe to this channel, please. Share it with your friends. Maybe you've got a friend that is going through something like what we're talking about. Maybe this video will help them. Share it on your social media, and have others join this community. I got through this video, and now my dog decided to bark, but thank you for listening. Remember, God loves you, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next video. That's great. See you then.